welcome to Daniel's prayer program. The Bible says in Colossians 1, verse 9 to 10, And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. For our first prayer item, let's pray for our people to be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Let's all pray fervently and with joy. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that our people be filled with the knowledge of your will. Be filled with the knowledge of your will. Be filled with the knowledge of your word. Be able to live a life that is worthy, God, of the call that is pleasing for your spirit. Life produces the kingdom. Life is fruitful, O God, for your sight. God, we Thank you, God. But as we keep on turning, God, our efforts, God, the energies to know you more. Don't worry. Pray, pray, God. Oh, Lord, God, help us know you more. Indeed, people, God, do. People, the knowledge of your way. We thank you. We know that you are the God who wants this to you. your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decide this to hide to us now. We decide this to come to us. We own life, Father. We decide this to come to us. We decide this to come to us. Our hearts would desire more and more to know you more, God. Love you more, God. Serve you more, God. To seek you more in all of our hearts. Oh, Lord God. God, we thank you. you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we seek you, O Lord God, open your righteousness, and we thank you that all the things we need shall be added to us. Father, we glorify you. And we you, God, today. And all this is all to your desire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of my soul. Give now for your grace, God. In the mighty and for the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. And for our second prayer item, let us pray for God's abundant provision to pay all bills, mortgages, and even rents and debts. Let us claim and declare what the Word of God said in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So may I invite every one of you to pray with us fervently and with joy. Let us pray. Father God, Heavenly we Father, thank you. In the name so of Jesus, we come for your love and your mercy. Lord, we thank you so much for the abundant love of our brothers, brothers and sisters. Lord, we provide all the things who have debts that are due, Lord God. God. Jesus, Father, we thank you. You have given us everything we need so that we can live a godly life. That through our knowledge of your goodness, our knowledge of your generosity, you will allow us to live in your own glory. For we know that Father, we help us pray for your people all that we will keep our lives free from the love of money, Lord God, that we may be content with what we have, Lord God, because, Lord, you have said that you will never leave us, never forsake us, Lord God, and we thank you that your very presence, Lord God, is the source of every provision in our lives. We that as you remind us of the ravens, Lord God, they do not sow, they do not reap, they will provide for all the the they the are being fed by you. you. We thank you, Lord, that you are God, Jesus. Father, we pray for our open seers and your funeral spirit. As we seek you first in your righteousness, all of these things provide for all of them unto us. That they will have their reason that you are a God and the source of all the good gifts of our God. Thank you that you never change. Thank you, Lord, that you are a God. Lord, that you provide for all of the things you provide for your people. Even before we 
the other are in the world that the few already know our demons and our blessings. So we do not need to be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and tradition. With thanksgiving, we present our request to you. They are Lord God. We thank you that you will meet our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We thank you for it, Father. And we pray all this. Mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. For our next prayer item, we're going to pray for protection and strength for the hospital workers and frontliners. So let us all pray. Heavenly Lord Father, God, Jesus, Jesus, thank you so much for your God. You are our, our God. God. You are our Just to keep our people God. strong and healthy, Lord God. Father, right now we come to your front of grace and we lift up all the frontliners, Lord God. All the hospital employees, all of the workers, Lord God. Jesus, Father, we pray for your divine protection upon each and every one of them. Father, we thank you for you are our refuge, our fortress, God in whom we can trust, Lord God. Even our hospital employees, and workers, and frontliners, and order God, all the people. And that God, your very presence, joy, and joy, and us, strength that we need, Lord God. Father, I pray that each and every one of them all over the world will get to experience your power, strength that is coming from you, that you will make them strong and healthy, Lord God, and holy physically, but also spiritually, Lord God. They will each and every one's heart with so much strength. Knowing that you are a God who is with us, never leading us, never forsaking us, but you are the God who is so much Thank you for all the blessing upon the lives of our hospital workers and frontliners, our doctors, the nurses, and the hospital housekeeping order. God, Father, I thank you that you are the God who will be glorified in their lives. Please be seeking you first in their lives. Lord God, all of the things that they'll need, Lord God Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they're all going to be strengthened. The Lord, that you will be able to bless them and keep their riches and glory in Christ. Lord, I thank you so much, so much, Lord God, that you will give to them all the glory of your God, and the work of our hospital workers and their families. Thank you for everything. Give us all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. All the glory of your God, Jesus. We just lift up in all of you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are healing, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. For our next prayer item, we're going to pray for creative ideas for our business owners, our businessmen. Let's pray for God's favor and provision for entrepreneurs. Let's all begin to pray. Father, Heavenly Father, Father, we thank you so much, Lord God, God before you are God, who is the source of all, so all the wonderful God, items for God. God. Father, we are grateful for that you are the source of all the of our businessmen, all of the entrepreneurs, Lord God, Jesus, with the wisdom that is coming from you, Lord, and you setting your word. If anyone lacks wisdom, from you, and you will be generously without finding Father, we are claiming and declaring this, Lord God, in the life of the Father, we are praying that the common favor and vision to flow upon their lives, Lord God, that you would allow them, Lord God, to continuously live in an open heaven, Lord God. They seek, Lord God, for those customers as they send those quotations, Lord God, that your favor goes with every quotation, with each client. Father, I thank you that they will just receive and have so many things, Lord God, Jesus. And Lord, oh, and we thank you so much, Lord so God, for wisdom and vision in their lives, in their businesses. All of this, Lord, we are going to be Lord God Jesus. We will receive the harvest, Lord God Jesus, because the Lord is never going to lock down on your people. And I thank you so much, Lord, for keeping the rest assured. And I thank you so much, Lord, for keeping the rest assured. And I thank you so much, Lord, for keeping the rest assured. 
pray for us so that continue. Father, we pray Please for the building of the, the, the Lord God, God from our word. As we open their, their Bible, Lord God, God, they will be able to pray for us. If you see so much as you are, like you are, Lord God, God, in the business that you have entrusted to each and every one of us, Father, I thank you it will be more that Jesus will be glorified in these businesses. That your name will be lifted up, Lord God, and that you will use this as an instrument for the advancement of the work of the Lord God. We will not be able to serve the Lord of the business of the Lord. I need to God. Invite the needs of your people. Thank you so much, Lord, that even the wisdom and ideas of the Lord God will be provided to your beloved children. Oh God, we are so excited. I'm excited, Lord God, to hear all the wonderful God. testimonies the so of the this flourishing even during this very God unique season God. of our lives. So because you Lord are a God who never changed. It remains the same yesterday, today, and in grace, God, and faith, my Father. Thank you so much for the Lord and your mercy and your glory. Honor, all your God, and we praise you. Amen and amen. And now for our our fifth prayer item. Let's pray for our nation to prosper and be established even during this pandemic. So let us all lift our voices and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our beloved nation, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, that when this nation is in the pandemic, we are in this nation. 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 Let us God, 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 I think that the Lord God, 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 God is wondrous and merciful and prosperous and efficient in our lives. The miracles of the economic world are the people that 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 are the you would help our government, oh God, you are in the harvest of our country. be, Lord God, for this day, harvest and blessing, oh God, that you will bring us all lifted up. Thank you so much, Lord God, for hearing us, even in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, for hearing us, even in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, for hearing us, even in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much, Lord God, we thank you, Father, and we honor you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this time of fervent prayer. The Angels Prayer Program airs at 5.45 in the morning, 11.45 near noon time, and at 8.45 in the evening from Mondays to Fridays. This is Pastor Rafi Manalo, and God bless you all.